I have no idea who directed this show. I have no idea who directed this show. But whoever directed this show, you done fucked it up. I think it's time to blow this in to get things started together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. Dragon Souls here and welcome and happy holidays to everyone uh, all over the around the world. Um, this is my first ever and you're you're in your you're actually seeing this in uh, right now and it's and if you if you're seeing this now then it's probably uh, 2020 uh, it's probably in 2022 when you're seeing it so uh, if you see if you see this in 2022, then uh, which is Janu which is January, then happy happy New Year's to and to everyone. I for the first time ever in 2022, I'm actually going to do a review of Cowboy Bebop. What the hell is a Cowboy Bebop? We've never heard of this show. Well, everyone, I have grown up with this show. Okay? The cartoon show. Okay? The cartoon show, I watched it back when I was uh, in my 20s. I think either in my 20s or in my 30s. I'm not sure. I, it was back in 2000. In two or two thousand three, whenever it came on Toonami on Cartoon Network, okay, I never missed a episode of the cartoon series ever. I watched it from season one, from whatever season it ended at, okay. I watched every damn bit of them, and let me tell you, I was a I'm a huge fan of Cowboy Bebop. Okay. Yes, it had new. It's got nudity in it. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. Okay. The characters in the game in, in the cartoon was outstanding. The uh, storyline of it was top notch. Really fucking great. Okay. Every character is in there. The redheaded kid. The red-headed girl kid was in it. The dog was in it. Uh, Spike, the guy that Spike was in it. That that one that one guy uh, that one guy with the uh, metal arm. He was in it. And I don't know if he was a black guy on the show. I don't know if he was a white guy on the show. But it looked like he was in between. Okay, on his, on the character cartoon, it looked like he was in between. Okay. So I'm not gonna sit here and, and please do not insult me and say, "Oh, you're a racist." I am not a racist, okay? I'm just telling you what I what I, uh, what I saw on the cartoon, okay? And the woman named Faye, she was uh, 
she uh, they're all a group on this on this cartoon, okay? They they don't never actually pretend that they never met each other. They're just meeting for the first time or anything. Nothing like that. Nothing at all. They're all in. They're all a team. They act like a team, and all that stuff. Okay, because Faye, she is not. Far as I know, I, I could be wrong, because it's been a long time since I've seen a cartoon of, of the uh, show Cowboy Bebop. She was never a lesbian. She dressed like a hooker throughout the entire show. Of Cowboy Bebop on the cartoon, but far and, and she looked. And I think there was a scene on the cartoon where she looked like she was making out and having sex with a guy, just like just like Spike was having sex with uh, with a blonde headed girl, but naked and all. Didn't show him naked or anything. Just show and show that and showed him ha in bed with her, having sex with her, and that was it. On a cartoon, okay? And the cartoon was perfect. The cartoon was damn top notch. I'm going to give that cartoon a 10 out of 10. That's how perfect it was. From the start to finish, especially the final episode of Cowboy Bebop, where the guy... Takes it and take him and him and Spike. There used to be partners in the past. They show what happened in the past between them two. Okay, they was assassins, and he and he got out of it, you know. And then they tried to kill him because uh, kill Spike because he got out of it, you know, and that and, and try and try to move on with his life, you know, and. Um, and on the, at the end of the cartoon show, they're inside of the him and him and his old partner was in the is in there and is in some kind of a building. And it doesn't look like a church at all. Okay, it does not look like a church at all. They're fighting. Spike's got a gun, and that guy, the, the his partner, his old partner had a sword. Trying to hit and spike with it, and and spike to the gun and shot and killed his his old partner. Then he walks out the building, and he looks at him and he, and he looks at the people and says, "Bang!" And then I do, with his with his hand on, he don't have a gun or nothing. He just doesn't hear. He says, "Bang!" And then that's when all say he he falls down and on the ground. And then the show, and the cartoon show ends. Great, I loved it. You know, it didn't have the blonde-headed girl come in there and shoot him, and then or, or anything like that. Okay, the storyline for the Cowboy Bebop real action show. What the hell were they thinking with that one? Oh my fucking god, it does not follow the cartoon series season one at all. I was wondering when I first saw when I first realized it heard them that they asked uh, um I was I was watching Angry Joe's video, a little bit of it, his uh, his re review of it, uh how bad it was. I was like, what? Cowboy Bebop, what the hell? Oh you gotta be kidding me. On Netflix? I'm checking this out, and I found out I found it. A whole the whole season one, all the episodes. So I was sitting there watching episode one, and when I watched this, I watched like five or ten minutes. I was like, "What the hell is this?" I remember this, but what the fuck? Where's the team? Where's the team at? I don't remember none of this shit. And I just kept watching. Every day I kept watching and kept watching each day and a lot of episodes. And I'm like, oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Apparently the people who did not are not fans of Cowboy Bebop cartoon did not follow the story of the cartoon series at all. 
They totally fucked it up. Bad. Now I see why everybody's pounding it for. And criticizing it for. It's not following the story at all. Storyline at all. First of all, they look like a drop the show, cartoon show looks like a hooker. She's supposed to look like a hooker. She's supposed to be a stray, not a lesbian. They're not supposed to act like they're meeting for the first time in the show. They're supposed to be a fucking taint throughout the entire show. What the hell did they do? And then after I got to, and then, and then all of a sudden, it showed uh, on episode six. It showed Faye got naked and got in the covers with uh, and got in the blankets with a woman. Oh my fucking god! I was like, no, wait a minute. I want to actually see the cartoon one. I saw the cartoon. She was in the, she was in doing the same thing, but with a, with a man. I was like, oh my god, are you fucking kidding? They, I can't believe they t twisted this whole thing around. What the hell did they do that for? And then all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden, um, at the end, the final episode, I finally got to the final episode, I could, I could barely even watch this shit. That's how disgusting it really is. At the final episode, the final episode, it was starting to get good. It was starting to get really good, you know. And then after, after it got after at the end of it, and it ended with Spike, this girl was supposed to be girlfriend, shot him, uh, shot the guy, shot the guy, other, uh, the other guy. And then they question him, and question Spike about why did why why if, if, if he knew that she he he you're alive, but if you loved me then why didn't you come and then why didn't you and why did you make me live with this guy throughout so many years? You never loved me and this that and then all of a sudden she took the gun and shot him in the shoulder. Made him go right through a fucking window and look like he's falling to his death. And I was like, wait a minute. Spike was supposed to go up and take a gun and shoot the guy and kill him on the cartoon. But they turned it all around and made it look like her, she's a bitch and, she, and she's walking him up. And, and torturing the guy while Spike is sitting and Spike is uh, Spike is uh, Spike and the other guy and he says he goes on and says I never want to see you again. If I see you again, I'll kill you. And he gets in his ship and take off. And Spike uh, and Spike gets all drunk and everything. And that's when all of a sudden the that's when the red headed girl uh, the red headed girl comes in and she is funny as shit. She is funny as crap, and I like her. I really like her character on on the on the, you know. But it ends right there when it goes to a black screen, and she's like, "Spike!" And I'm like, "Okay, this is where they are they trying to claim that they never met before?" First of all. On Cowboy, uh, the final episode of Cowboy Bebop on the cartoon, they was never in a church. On the movie, on the series, on TV, uh, on the Cowboy Bebop series, the final episode, they was and they was fighting in a church. Seriously. I'm giving the Cowboy Bebop series live action shit, live action series shit a two 
out of five. Or should I say two out of ten. I would not recommend anybody watching this garbage. If you want to watch, what well, if you want to, if you never experienced or seen Cowboy Bebop, the cartoon series, and you want to actually see what it actually looks like, watch the cartoon series. You won't be disappointed. After you see it, then go up and watch Cowboy Bebop, the live action show, and I'm guaranteeing to you. You're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. I gave the cartoon one thumbs up. I give the, I give the live action one thumbs down. And there's, they made season two for Cowboy Bebop. Okay, for the live action one. But guess what? Thank you. Netflix has canceled it. They canceled it completely. They're not going to put it in Netflix. Thank God on that. And I heard that they're supposed to be making a live action series of One Piece. Well, I wonder how that's going to turn out. All I got to say to Netflix is this. You got two, I heard you got two strikes, bud. I heard you got two strikes on, on doing this shit. If you get a third strike, I heard if you get a third strike, Netflix is history. You won't be able to watch any Netflix shows at all because they will be gone. So, Netflix, please don't fuck this up. Whoever, whoever makes one uh, the live action series of One Piece, do not fuck it up. Get a, we need somebody. We need somebody who's a big fan of these series, like Cowboy Bebop, like One Piece, series like these cartoon series. We need a we need somebody in there who knows who's a big fan of them of this series and knows what the hell they're doing. Please, it's all I'm begging. That's all I'm asking for. I am begging you. Do not screw this one up. Thanks for watching, everyone. Y'all have a wonderful day and a happy holidays. And I will, and if, if, if you're, by the time you see this, it's probably 2022. So if it is, Happy New Year's to everyone. Dragon Souls, signing out.